Hey YouTube, Shuffle Does here. Today I have the AccuRite Professional Weather Center. This guy will do the wind, speed and direction. It'll do humidity, temperature, and uh, rainfall. So this guy has a little cup in here that has a rocker that as the rain falls in there, it tips to one side and flips back and forth and that's kind of how it tracks it. Uh, it's got a nice big monitor that you can see here. This one in particular will go 330 feet. So we're back here at my shed, uh, which is by our hops and apple trees. So no problem getting up to the house on where I plan to do this. Instructions. So here's the monitor. Looks like that might be the base for the monitor. And a power cord for the monitor. And here's the unit itself. Pretty cool, pretty straightforward. Here's the mounting bracket. I don't see any screws. There is a little level on here, I'm assuming for mounting. But let's uh, dive on in into this guy. So on the bottom here, where the batteries go, looks like some mounting screws and the set screws. I have a little heavier duty stuff here. This will be going right on to the face of the shed. So this takes four double A's which I got right here. So also inside the battery box here, there's a little switch that says A, B, and C. This is to match your display. So whichever one you pick, mine is already set to A. I'm just gonna leave it there. Make sure to put the, the battery removal strap in. And I have my batteries right here. And we'll go ahead and close that up. This is the solar. This is what they want mounted directly south. So once we get up on the roof, I'll make sure that this is mounted south. Looks like we already got a little bit of wind going, which is awesome. I'm not entirely sure how to calibrate it yet, but we'll figure that out. So this is the display. Looks like it's held in by a couple screws here. Plastic off. So again, this is also set at A. This is telling me to use the AC power as the main power and that batteries are for backup only. So we need three double A's. Three double A's. There's a clear to date, clear all, and a reset. As far as setup, 
I would just follow the instructions. Set the clock, you just hit this uh, middle button until it says set clock. Once you press that up and down for the hour, hit it again, up and down for the minute, and hit it again, and it's set. Looks like it's 11.52. Set the date, again, hit this middle, and we're looking for June. We're going to go backwards to the 24th, and the year 2022, and hit OK. So those are about the only things you need to set up right away. Uh, if you want to get into your units, you can change all of that. If you want to get into your wind speed max for setting alarms, weather alerts, you could read through all of that. So a placement for maximum accuracy is just five feet at least above. They say recommended is 33 feet or 10 meters. I'm gonna go on top of the shed. So this will be roughly seven, eight foot in the air and on top of that, maybe another foot. So we're looking at nine. Looks like as it's sitting here at grade, we're looking at a wind speed of four. So it's working. So before we get up there to mount this, I actually want to pre-drill these four holes out a little bit bigger. Um, I'm going to be using some of those GRK screws to go into the gable end of the shed. They're a lot bigger and more substantial than these guys. So just want to drill that out so I don't crack the plastic. Gonna get all these set in there so when I take it up it goes quick. Alright so I got my screws in the bracket. There's two holes on the back here for the two shorter screws to go in here. I'm gonna go mount this with this on it and then position it so this uh, faces south to capture light out of that PV little panel. Alright guys, so this is exactly where I want it to go. It fits really nice right here. And I'm hoping there's enough, which there is. Perfect. All right, so that's pretty much perfect, which is awesome. Now this is due south, and you need to put on the two set screws that go in the back here. So there's a larger one and a smaller one. All right, so here's a look a little closer up. That's the mount I did with the four GRK screws. I wonder if it needs to be up a little higher for the wind direction, we'll see. But either way, I'm mainly focused on wind speed versus direction for my 
vertical axis wind turbine I want to build. So what you really want to make sure is accurate is that that bubble is in the right spot. There she is blowing. I'm pretty excited. As you can see, the temperature and wind outside and there is the beauty right there. Here's a look at the display through the wind speed, outside temperature, humidity, uh, various different menus. Here's the uh, buttons that you can click through. And this option as well. Alright YouTube, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate all the views, all the comments, and all those that have subscribed thus far. I am getting excited to start monitoring the wind in my area, and that is just one step closer to designing and building my bot, my vertical axis wind turbine, that I'm very excited to start doing. So, thanks again. Hit the thumbs up if you want. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you on the next one.